What is up everyone? It is Sacred Saiyan here, welcoming you to the second episode of the series, What If Goku Was In Naruto? If you end up liking today's video, then please consider subscribing. It is free, and you can always unsubscribe later. There's a link in the description of the video to join my Discord server, and also to become a channel member if you want to support the channel. I have another channel where I post Dolls What Ifs, and I posted the first video on my gaming channel as well, so if you want to check them out in the description of the video, then you can. And with all of that out of the way, let's get into the second episode of What If Goku Was In Naruto. This video begins when the Genin squads are being announced. All the squads remain the same until Aruka announces who will be in squad 7. He first says Naruto Uzumaki. Second, he says Goku Shinsei, which makes Naruto jump and cheer. But Goku laughs and tells Naruto to calm down a bit. Aruka then says Sakura's name, making Naruto jump up and cheer once again, while Sakura puts her head on the table and begins to mope. But to the shock of everyone in the class, Aruka wasn't finished. He says that due to special circumstances, Team 7 will have an extra member, and that extra member will be Sosuke Uchiha. Naruto then begins to mope, while Sakura is now the one jumping up in excitement, and Sosuke simply tells the rest of his squad to not get in his way. Goku slightly chuckles, saying he was about to tell Sosuke the same thing, while Naruto complains to Aruka about Sosuke being on the same squad as him. Naruto says how he is a super powerful ninja, so why would he put in the same squad as an idiot like Sosuke? Aruka then embarrasses Naruto saying how Naruto is the worst in the class, while Sosuke got the best score in the final exam, the only person tying with him being Goku. So to make the squads balance, they had the best and worst students on the same squad. It just so happened that due to special circumstances, that they had the two best students put in the same squad. The entire class begins to mutter about Squad 7. There hasn't been a squad with an extra member ever since the legendary Shinin. The legendary Shinin being the original legendary Sanin, but with an extra member who is yet to be revealed. And with the two top students being in Squad 7 as well, it makes sense. But why would Naruto be in a squad like that? The class do still see Goku as an outcast, but his power and skill are undeniable. Naruto, on the other hand, is both an outcast and weak. Aruka shouts for the class to settle down, as he finishes everything he had to say, and then dismisses the class. Goku and Naruto thinking how lucky they were to be in the same team as they walk out. We now head to when Kakashi test Squad 7. They must get the bells off of him at all costs. Naruto still attempts to face Kakashi alone, getting trapped, and Goku nearly gets a bill like Sosuke. However, he still doesn't manage to get it. But luckily, Squad 7 will still end up passing, because after Naruto attempts to eat lunch before they are supposed to, Kakashi still gives them the order to not give Naruto any food. However, because all of them still do, Kakashi lets them pass for working as a team. We now head to when Squad 7 takes a mission to protect the bridge builder, events remaining mostly the same up until the first battle against Zabuza. Kakashi first attempts to take on Zabuza alone, however, he gets trapped inside of Zabuza's water prison. This leaves Goku, Naruto and Sasuke to save Kakashi, as Sakura is paralysed in fear. Goku stays back at first, studying Zabuza's moves, while Naruto and Sasuke are the main aggressors. This means the fight doesn't change much, until Naruto and Sasuke pull off their team attack, with Sasuke throwing the Naruto who transformed into a demon wind shuriken, along with a real demon wind shuriken. But this moment is different here. After Naruto Naruto appears and throws the kunai at Zabuza, we can see there is writing on the kunai, and as Zabuza dodges out of the way, Goku appears above the kunai and kicks Zabuza in the jaw, sending him flying back. Zabuza has a shocked expression on his face. This kid, he's so fast. No, that's not it. Zabuza looks to the kunai, which is now stuck into a tree, and he sees the writing on it. Zabuza then realising that kid has the same jutsu as the yellow flash of the leaf, the flying thunder god technique. It allows him to teleport to any marked location. But how could a twerp like him have such a powerful jutsu? Goku smirks, saying he can't use it anywhere near as well as a 4th Okage could, but it is still useful to catch an opponent off guard. Zabuza is infuriated, ready to rush at Goku to make him pay for landing a hit on him, but Kakashi stops him, and he continues his fight with Zabuza like normal, eventually leading to Zabuza's escape due to Haku, pretending to be the hidden miss on Boo Black Ops. We now head to when Zabuza and Haku arrive on the bridge. Naruto and Sasuke are the ones to take on Haku like normal, while here, Goku and Kakashi work together to take on Zabuza. Kakashi is about to reveal his Sharingan. Zabuza attempting to stab his Sharingan to prevent this, however, Goku kicks Zabuza's arm up, then kicking him in the stomach and slightly pushing him back. 
Goku then tells Zabuza to not underestimate him or his sensei. Zabuza won't escape this time. It's over for him. Zabuza laughs, saying even if they kill him, they'll never defeat Haku. His Keke Genkai makes his power even surpass his own. He is the ultimate tool. Kakashi avoids his Sharingan to combat Zabuza once again. Kakashi saying, Zabuza is clearly afraid of the Sharingan because he tried to stab it before he could get the chance to use it again. But Zabuza says that his Sharingan won't matter if he can't see. Zabuza then uses his hidden mist jutsu, disappearing into the mist, and Goku and Kakashi begin to look around. Sakura guarding Tazuna while Kakashi pulls out a kunai to deflect shurikens that are thrown at him. Kakashi then tries to calm down and thinks, what will Zabuza go after? Quickly realising he'll go after Tazuna, as he sees Zabuza appear behind Tazuna, and attempts to slash him. However, Kakashi gets in the way, and is sliced by Zabuza's blade. Goku watches as this happens, and he gets enraged. Zabuza begins to taunt Kakashi, however while he does, he senses an incredible chakra sparking up. So he stops. Kakashi and Zabuza turn, as they see Goku being surrounded by a swirling yellow chakra and Goku's eyes turn a ferocious yellow colour, much like the chakra surrounding him. Goku has a face that looks like a beast, and he rushes towards Zabuza with immense speed, catching the Rogan into off guard as he slashes Zabuza's leg and back. And Kakashi is worried, as he knows this is the power of the four-tailed monkey. However, he decides to focus on Zabuza first, so he rushes at Zabuza with his Shidori. However, Haku appears in the way and saves Zabuza by getting hit by the attack himself. He already lost to Naruto, he also unleashed his own tail beast chakra, and he was about to let Naruto kill him because he thought he no longer served a purpose. But he needed to save Zabuza if it was the last thing he did. Naruto runs over, seeing Goku and realising Goku is in a state just like he was in. But luckily, Goku quickly calms down and goes back to normal like Naruto did. Things from here remain the same, with Zabuza having a change of heart, however still meeting his untimely end, and the bridge after being finished is still named the Great Naruto Bridge. So with Squad 7 having completed their mission, they then head back to the Hidden Leaf Village. And this is where we're going to end off this part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to like, comment, and please do subscribe. It is quick and easy to do. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to Father Koo, Yeti Myth, Tom Mud, Mystic Angel, Jonathan Way, XDK What Ifs, Crimson Dragon 5401, Neo Whitcomb, and Destroyer God Broly for becoming channel members. If you want to be shouted out at the end of the video and get other perks like the channel members here, then there is a link in the description down below to become a channel member. It greatly supports me and it helps me immensely. With all of that out of the way, I hope to see you all in the next episode of What If Goku Was in Naruto.